It, the UK's first safer drug consumption rooms are looking likely to be approved in Glasgow within a matter of weeks. Glasgow, under the rule of the SNP, are planning to launch the life-saving pilot scheme. Even though drug deaths did rise in the first six months of 2023, according to figures from the Scottish Government. In the UK, drug legislation is reserved for Westminster, but in the last few days, the Secretary of State for Scotland, Alistair Jack, has said that the government will not interfere to stop this. So is this going to help Scotland's drug issue? Well, join us now to discuss this. is former SNP Glasgow City Councillor Austin Sheridan. Austin, thank you so much for joining us. Um, the SNP seem to have turned Scotland and your home city of Glasgow in particular into the drug capital of Europe. Is that, is that how you see it there as well? Well, um, as you pointed out, Phil, um, drug legislation is reserved to Westminster. Um, it's not devolved um, to the Scottish Parliament. Um, I would love to see um, those powers devolved to Scotland's Parliament because this is about how we approach um, dealing with the with the drug death crisis that we have in Scotland. Um, do we treat it as a criminal issue um, or do we acknowledge it as a health issue? Um, personally speaking, I believe it is a health issue. Um, having safe um, consumption rooms, I mean, the, 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 the clue is in the word safe, um, means that it will be safer for people to consume drugs and um, to ensure they're overdose, but also safer for the public as well to ensure that things like needles, etc., um, aren't going to be, um, you know, on the streets. So there's wider benefit and to having safe consumption rooms um, to non-drug users as well, because those are the kind of things that want to be taken off our street to make sure uh, that we can keep the public safe. Austin, so let's look at this. So, yes, you, you're medicalising it, but you're having these spaces now that are safe spaces. So if we think about that, so you're letting addicts go in there to take drugs, inject, so you've made the sa space safe. You're now also making the space to walk there safe. You're allowing drug dealers to deal safely because they know you're condoning the uses of drugs if they go there. This isn't going to stop... Uh, drug deaths. This isn't going to stop the drug problem. It's going to end up like San Francisco, which it is going through the roof. Can you see that? Mm. Well, we're certainly not making it safe um, for drug dealers um, to deal drugs. Um, they, they but they will. And they are criminals. Um, but what we are looking at is that if people are addicted to drugs, Esther, they're going to take drugs whether there's a safe consumption room or not. Uh, what we're talking about um, is to make it safer um, for people um, to consume drugs because they're going to do that anyway um, if they're addicted. Um, and also, as I mentioned, um, that you know the wider public safety aspect is, is to ensure that there isn't any waste um, from drugs um, being left in the streets. And unfortunately, Esther, only last week, um, I know someone um, who was 27 years old um, who passed to be with an overdose now. I'm not saying that a safe consumption room would have saved that person's life. However, it may well have done. Um, and as I say, you know, whether there was a safe consumption room there or not, um, unfortunately that person was going to be taking drugs anyway. So this is would, about would you, would you, would... it's about being realistic um, and understanding that criminalising drug use, um, we are not winning um, the, the war against drugs um, by criminalising so and trying to speak for that and Westminster really need to buck up their ideas um, and devolve um, those powers to the Scottish Parliament because decisions made local are decisions made better Austin, just, just quickly, you've, it seems that many people might think you sort of let the cat out of the bag there by saying criminalising drug use isn't working, that therefore would indicate that you and the SNP are in favour of decriminalising Drug yeah, use and de decriminalising drug use. So decriminalising yeah. class class A drugs, heroin, crack, yes, cocaine. Yeah, you I'm would decriminalise that. Yes, absolutely. Um, now, that doesn't mean um, that we don't criminalise drug dealers and criminalise people that are bringing drugs in. Those people should um, be prosecuted and we should be pursuing that. However, when it comes to the user, um, I don't believe that we're going to help people um, that are addicted to drugs by criminalising them. It is a health issue, um, and that is how we should tackle that. And absolutely, the SNP would decriminalise de drugs. That's, that's our policy.